our landlord is uh, is selling our house, uh, and we cannot afford to, to even rent there anymore. We had a couple of really hard conversations about it, and uh, spent a lot of time yelling over coffee and getting mad at the situation. I started teaching a bit, and um, it's turned into a a yearly course that I've been doing now for about 20 years. It was a barn renovated into a cottage. We kind of fell in love with the idea, and so the first one we uh, the first one we saw was in, in Eganville, and we just immediately fell in love with it. We couldn't stop thinking about it, so we ended up putting in an offer uh, and buying a barn in two acres, with sort of the intention of 10 years from now we'd we'd, uh, we'd have it done. That was my first job, so I took down barn frames. We'd go in and strip the building and take the pins out and dismantle the buildings, repair them and re-erect them for cottages and summer homes. And, and that's where I learned the craft of timber framing and, and uh, I guess got all on it. Our 10-year plan has become our right now plan. So my wife signed me up for this as a surprise. And just uh, She told me the Friday before, before it started, you're, you're going to do this for two weeks. We get different trades, we have masons, and machinists, and carpenters that come, and then we'll have a lot of folks that are not woodworkers that just have a real passion for either timber framing or for wood, and, and are looking for an opportunity to come and spend a week in the country and build. It's hard to really quantify how important this course is in terms of building the barn, but also in a larger sense, like taking this course is a, a big piece in the puzzle of, of sort of bringing our, our entire family into the life we want.